This video is not painting me out in a very good light. Hi, I'm Megan and you're watching Meg's Monday. Now, welcome back to my channel. So a fun fact that you may not know is that I went to an all girls secondary school. So this week on Meg's Monday, I decided to share with you all the inside world of what goes on in an all girls secondary school. So if you went to an all girls secondary school, you might be able to relate to this. And if you didn't, I'm giving you a sneak peek into what you didn't experience. So let's get started. First of all, nail polish was forbidden. So you weren't allowed to wear nail polish for school, that, you were a rebel if you had those nails painted. Especially when it came to classes like home ec and science, teachers would sometimes like keep nail polish remover in their classroom and give it to you to take off your nail varnish if you were doing like cooking or an experiment of some sort. First years had big bags. Now every first year looked like a turtle carrying their home on their back with their school bags. As well as that, in our secondary school, we had like cloth bags that first years used to bring around to class. And they used to be bulging. Like we had small corridors because it was an old building. And between them and their bag, you nearly couldn't get past them in the actual corridor. The smell of tan. I feel like this probably happened in a mixed secondary school too. But come Friday morning, the locker area would smell of tan as everyone had, would do their tan on a Thursday night for going to their disco on a Friday night. In Cavan, people would be heading to the lavvy. Nowadays, I think they go to car town. I don't know. But anyway, the locker area would stink of like stale tan and it would be disgusting. But it was the norm. The drama of injection days. Now, I'll hold my hands up here and admit that I pretty much was involved in the drama of injection days. Like I hate injections and it was never a good time when I had to go down for one. I didn't like make a big hullabaloo but there's always that mat on the floor in the room where they're doing the injections. We did it in the concert hall and there's always that mat on the floor that like have a few people lying on it after they had their injection. And I will admit at one time, I was lying on that mat. Wasn't my proudest moment. Maybe I shouldn't be sharing it on the internet. But I lay on the mat because I felt so sick after getting a needle put into my arm. I mean, it is pretty embarrassing, but I feel like if I went back and got the injection again, I probably have to do the same thing. So, I'm just gonna have to roll with the punches here. The excitement of seeing a boys school on your school tour was always a big thing, especially if they were like a local secondary school that was like on the, at the same place as you. But we had this thing where in TY, Dutch students would come over on an exchange with like the TY students and there would always be boys because it was a mixed school we did the exchange with. During that week that the Dutch students were in the school, everybody was dolled up with their hair and makeup done perfectly every day going around the school. The boys would be looked at as gods as they walked down the corridors. Honestly, they probably thought they were living it up. Um, yeah, pretty embarrassing when you think about it now, but literally everyone was just drooling over these Dutch lads. There was only probably about five or six of them in the whole school, but literally the whole school were just obsessed with them for the week that they were there. And finally, tears at graduation. I don't understand people who didn't cry at graduation. We have a day where like it's your graduation day and everyone runs out into the courtyard and music plays and we all dance together and the whole school watches like the six years dancing on the courtyard. And there is a lot of tears there and a lot of people crying if they have friends in fifth year and they're leaving. How old my hands up, I cried in fifth year when my friend left as well as when I cried in sixth year when I left. But then it comes to like the evening ceremony of the graduation when your parents are there. And I'm not sure what happened. But although there had been tears for the majority of the day, everyone seemed to have already come to terms with the fact they were leaving. Because in the whole section of the hall I was in, I was the only person that could not control my tears. But I could not control my own tears and I was crying away through the whole thing. People were trying to pass me tissues and I thought it was very emotional. 
And I know what other people did cry as well, but the main amount of crying that took place was during the day in like our little courtyard, dance together while the rest of the school looks on. I don't know what you did when you were graduating. We signed our shirts that day as well. So let me know in the comments below what you did for your grad from secondary school. And did you all dance together and watch the school watches? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below because it's probably a bit of a strange thing now that I think about it. There we go. That is the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you went to an all girls secondary school, let me know if you can relate to anything that happened or did something else happen in your secondary school that I didn't already talk about. I would love to hear. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you next week for another Meg's Monday. So, bye.